What's going on everybody? Today, this is going to be tutorial time. And you might say, why? We know what we're doing, we've collected cards. Um, well, years ago I did a tutorial on Perfect Fit Sleeves, which is now Superior Fit Innovations. Um, I've been using them since probably 2014. Uh, very, very long time. Um, and 2015 maybe? Yeah, probably 2014, 2015, right around there. Um, I did a video and some people liked it, so I thought, you know, instead of having you guys have to go back for it and look for it, um, just a uh, a quick recap and just do it again. So I figured, why not? Um, this is how I go about it. Um, and this is different types of sleeves that I'm going to use. One for top loader, it's a 100 point. One for a 100 point mag. And one for a 130 point mag and then one for graded card. Um, and I'm gonna show you a little trick that I do that uh, I think will help everybody out with getting frustrated while they're um, doing the, uh, the perfect fit sleeves. And even if they're just shipping cards and using team bags, this will also help. I have this, I need to get some more, but this <clears throat> is what I use it for. And you may say, why does that weird dude have a roll of painter's tape just sitting about with the, the Superior Fit Innovation sleeves? And why is he putting it backwards? Well, this is why. It's backwards, so the sticky stuff is on the top. And the reason I do that is because, I'll show you right now. Let's get one of the right size sleeves for this relic card that I have and I keep all mine in a box like this and I have them divided up I know they're not the best dividers but I haven't changed it um, got all those so I take this this is how I do it Let me make sure this is the right size yeah okay so I always turn my card backwards the opening part is in the front here of the sleeve you can see right there and I take and I slide the corner in the other corner and I use two fingers and I slide it all the way down that's simple enough right it's nice and tight it's in there looks good horizontal cards facing the right way and I take this and you see how it's sticking to my finger it gets annoying the only other way I mean you can lick your fingers and you can throw these away but then they end up everywhere I take and I stick it to the tape and I take this pull it all the way down in the middle and seal it and you're golden you're good to go it's done. So now let's do the one touch. Let me grab out my sleeve for the one touch. This is the 100 pointer. Same thing, backwards. Sleeve is facing me. Take the annoying little tab. Boom. And then the, the one touches are the same. I put it on the side. Or I put the... Uh, I put it down with two fingers right in the middle and then the bigger one touch same thing turn the card around this is a 130 so you gotta be careful sometimes these 130s they rip on the side of the uh, the bag if you have them if they're, if they're really a 180 same thing with um, Oh, my tape. See, I stuck it to my tape because I was trying to be a smart guy. Um, though, if you try to take a 130 and put it in a 100, um, it'll rip the side. There you go. That one's secured as well. Let's see if we can't get the stick. These are going to fall, so we'll just put them here. And now, let's get to the the PSA slab. So that the regular PSA slabs aren't gonna work. You have to have the fat slabs, or they're called the Jersey Swatch slabs. And I have a bunch of these because I don't have a whole lot of the fat slab um, PSA slabs. But you gotta have them just in case. And I have found that the SGC cards fit inside of the fat 
PSA slabs. So I have used those before. So you're nice and tight. Now these ones are a little tricky because they're the fat ones. So you have a little bit of a fold right here. Still take my tab, drop it on the tape. So what I do is I push it down and I fold it over like that and then pull down the middle. And you shouldn't get a bend or a fold right here. A lot of times you'll get, it'll all be bent up, the, that extra slap, uh, flap that was on the inside. As long as you bend it, so you kind of fold it forward and then bend this, the flap this way. And it's nice and tight, looks good. Doesn't look as sloppy as those team bags. Nice and secure. Joey Theismann will be happy. But that's my little tutorial there. I know it's a five minute, six minute tutorial, but um, you never know. Somebody out there may see it's useful. So you guys have a good day and keep up the good work and do something nice for somebody. See ya.